chosen ones, they are all finally realizing that when they went against you, they went against God. Chosen ones, listen up. You got to realize one thing. You got to realize that the light on the inside of you chosen ones, it disturbs their demons. It rouses people's demons up. You got to realize that, family. Because that's one thing we fail to realize as chosen ones. We think we could just walk around and be regular. We think that we can go back to our old lives. We think we could just be anybody, but God got a bigger plan for us. God want us to ascend and be better and be leaders and be conquerors, not only just leaders, but warriors. God got a plan for us. You got to realize, family, that the light in, on the inside of you, it disturbs the demons on the inside of them. You understand what I'm saying? In Luke chapter 21, verse 16 through 18, family, it says something very important. That we don't really take into account. Uh, it says, uh, even your own parents, your your relatives, your bros, your like your brothers, your sisters, your cousins. You understand what I'm saying? Your friends, they will all turn against you, family, because, um, guess what? The only reason is because you following the Lord. You feel me? Everybody, because look, here's the thing. The demons on the inside of them will rile up. You understand what I'm saying? And guess what? They started doing this, family, when you wasn't even on your purpose yet. That's the crazy part about it, family. Like, you wasn't even on your purpose yet. And that's when it all started. It started before you even was on your purpose. You understand what I'm saying? Like, um, but you still belong to God. Like, at the end of the day, like, yeah, you wasn't on your purpose. You was out here being a knucklehead. You was out here being crazy and chaotic. You know what I'm saying? Following your nature or your your intuitions and stuff like that. And just going with the flow, right? Because um, remember, that's how you was raised a lot of the time. That's what you seen. That's what you was influenced by. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't influenced by, you, you ain't grow up in a church, you feel me? You ain't grow up with structure, you know, to that capacity. But guess what? God still was looking over. You understand what I'm saying? So he see everything. So you wasn't even on your purpose whole time. People were still throwing stones. People were still casting spells. People were still doing evil, wicked things. And you wasn't even really on your purpose. You just was who you was you understand what i'm saying so don't so don't be fooled don't look at it like oh that's just who i was this way then if that's just who you was this way then imagine what god see that way you see what i'm saying if if they was doing that much evil at that point why can't why see the good family don't forget to look at the good a lot of life it's about a lot of things God, God loves is when people are, are grateful for what they do have. You feel me? You got to look at the good and the bad. Okay. Yeah, this happened, that happened. Yeah, this happened, that happened. But look at look at what God has for me. You understand what I'm saying? Satan wants you to look at the past, stay in the past, dwell in the past. God wants you to look past the past. Look at what's going on today. Look at what's going on, what you got. Plan for tomorrow. Look at what you and God got planned for tomorrow, family. But look at this. Um, you wasn't even on your purpose yet, but you still belong to God. You didn't know who you were, family. You didn't even know who you were. But you still believe. Uh, and guess what? They started to see your light as of recently, family. They started to get, like, I'm, I'm telling you, they started to see your light. That's what's going on out here. They started to see your light. They know you're getting ready to be the next big thing, family. Like, no cap. They they know you're getting ready to be the next big thing. And family, you wondering why people be uh, lashing out at you. Like, I know. You, 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 you be wondering why. And I'm telling you why right now. You know what I'm saying? You're getting ready to be the next big thing. And you be really wondering why people be lashing out at you. And... Uh, it's because you're the chosen one. Like, that's what it really is. Like, it's because you're the chosen one. Uh, and you're wondering why people turning out of the cheek on you. 
You feel me? Walking out your life. You know what I'm saying? You you can't, yo, chosen ones, y'all cannot last at nine to fives. Like, I know I'm not just speaking for myself, family. Like, y'all chosen ones out there, y'all cannot last because y'all are stars. Y'all are star seeds. Y'all are chosen ones. Y'all not y'all not supposed to have somebody, y'all not supposed to be watched over by by people. Like God, okay, when you was a kid, you had no choice, but look, God knew like at a certain point in age and time that you was gonna have something. He put something on the inside of you from day one that like when you reach a certain point that nobody gonna be able to tell you what to do because you're too light. If the light on the inside of you contradicts all negativity. So people who got low vibrational energy, people who don't love what they do, they cannot stand you. You understand what I'm saying? They cannot be around you. That is two different frequencies, family. Like, one is of Satan, one is of God. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, these people are still figuring out their demons, uh, truth be told, every single day. So, like, you don't even belong around that because you don't need that to get on you. You know what I'm saying? You don't need them spirits. Because guess what? You a clean spirit, family. So, guess what? As soon as you get around somebody who got 50% and you got 85, 90.